<sighs> it's so dark and so cold tonight. Oh, Judas, it's just you that's cold. I know, but I feel so empty inside. What have you done, Judas? What have you done? What have I done? I've handed Jesus over to his enemies. Well, why would you do such a thing? I thought I was doing him a favor. You were only trying to help. Yeah, Jesus kept talking about bringing in the kingdom, that God's kingdom was near, that it was at close at hand. You thought Jesus only needed a push, a bit of encouragement, yeah, to give the word and set the rebellion in motion. Yeah, that's it. It's Passover. Jerusalem is full of people that are sick and tired of the Romans. Just one incident, just the right word, and people would rise up in arms and make Jesus the real king. Oh, well, you had Jesus' best interest in I mind. I wanted to save him from himself. Jesus, you were going so soft. You let Mary waste that expensive perfume on your feet. Of all the ridiculous things, why that money could have been used for a better use. It could have been given to the poor to enlist their support. Or it could have been used to buy arms. It could have been put in our pockets. But of all this talk about anointing you for your death, that was crazy talk, Jesus. It was just the talk of someone losing their taste for the battle ahead. So what went wrong, Judas? What didn't go wrong? He never let the word. He told the disciples to put down their weapons. He let the people take him. He let the Romans and the temple guards take him prisoner. Unless we do something tonight, Jesus is going to die. Oh, but that's not what you wanted. Oh, Jesus, why didn't you stop me? I thought you wanted me to go through with this plan. You seem to know. You told me yourself, whatever you have to do, do it now. So I left the supper. Jesus, sweet Jesus, why didn't you stop me? Maybe you're just a bit player in God's plan. Maybe everything will turn out all right just yet. No, that's impossible. Jesus is in their hands now. I'm responsible. I did this. Yeah, but you meant him no harm. You greeted him with a kiss of friendship. Surely he knew that you cared about him. And maybe he thought you were doing this for him. I betrayed him. I betrayed him with a kiss of friendship. Oh, Jesus, sweet Jesus, what have I done? Get a grip. You're losing it. But he always was so good to me. He trusted me. He put me in charge of the treasury. I carried the money pouch. Maybe you took it too seriously. No. It was an honor. Just being with him was an honor. But I got to be specially close to him. At the Passover dinner, I was right next to him. It was John on one side, I was on the other. He trusted me. Yeah, but you let him down. But whatever possessed me to think that I could get him to do things my way, what did I ever do to go to the temple authorities to give him this harebrained scheme? If I just kept my mouth shut, Jesus would be free tonight, and who knows what might happen. Jesus could end up here at Golgotha on the cross. It's all because of me. You should go tell him you're sorry. I can't tell him I'm sorry. What good would that do? That won't even set him free. That won't take away his humiliation that I brought on him. That won't ease his pain that he's going to experience because of me. What good are words? And besides, I could never get near him tonight. I might never get near him enough to ever tell him I'm sorry. You could do something. You could maybe show him you're sorry. Why not put on some sackcloth and ashes? Maybe he'll see and know that you're sorry. Well, what good would that do? Jesus doesn't like showy displays of piety. He told us that when we fast in repentance, to not put on dismal faces, to let people know that we're fasting. He said that we should wash our faces, put fresh oil on our heads, and do our fasting privately. He says that God would know. Yeah, God knows. Yes, God knows that I've handed the Messiah over to his enemies. God knows that I've betrayed my rabbi. God knows that I deserve to die for Jesus' place. Well, maybe repentance is something that happens inside where only God can see it. Like a new heart. Or like turning to God, facing the music, opening yourself up to God's righteous anger, turning to his mercy and grace. I don't know if God could forgive my sin tonight. If mine's no ordinary sin. If they gave me 30 pieces of silver for my Jesus. 30 pieces of damned silver and it damned like me. Yeah, well, you can't keep that silver, Judas. I know I can't keep it. I'm taking it back tonight, right now. It makes my flesh just crawl hearing it jingle in my pockets. This is blood money. 
I've got to take it back to the temple authorities. I've got to take it back. Yeah, well, maybe you'll get to see Jesus. I don't know if I could do that. To face Jesus? I mean, I'm too ashamed to face him. I couldn't even stand to see the disappointment in his eyes. I've let him down. Oh, Jesus, dear Jesus. Why didn't I bring in... Why didn't you bring in the kingdom? What are you waiting for? What hope is there for a sinner like me? There's one way out. You may not have to face Jesus again. Yeah, I wouldn't have to answer to the other disciples either. Who could forgive the one who betrayed the Lord and his friend? Lord, is it I? Am I the one who should die, Jesus? Are you the one, Judas? Yeah, I'm the one. I deserve to die. But I have to get rid of the silver first. I have to go to the temple. You are crazy, Judas. I know what I'm doing. I'll do this my way. I owe it to Jesus. He's so dark and so cold tonight.